G'day, I'm John Ford for Caravan World, and we've got a review with a bit of a difference. We'll be travelling with three identical urban caravans, with three families all the way across South Australia and Western Australia, for a look at how they enjoy the caravanning lifestyle and the sorts of things that they've encountered along the way with the van. Sounds like the boys are getting ready. Let's go and meet them. Hi, we've got three urban vans. And we've got three families. And we're travelling Australia. Let's go! G'day, we're the Andrews family, and this is our urban X-Terrain. How you going? We're the Roberts family, and this is our white urban X-Terrain. Hi, we're the Gribbles. We're travelling Australia 2022 in the urban X-Terrain caravan. We all grew up together, went to school together, and we've been talking about uh, doing a trip around Australia for years now, and um, we finally all put our heads together and said, uh, let's go, let's... Um, Let's hit the road and uh, we all put yeah, renters in our houses and um, went out and had a look at these urban caravans and um, all purchased an urban caravan each so there's three of us on the road now and it's great, really worked out well. You enjoying it? Loving it. So Dave, um, the buying process. Yep. Um, what, what sort of things did you think about? We were looking for something strong, something with a decent payload and um, just had enough the power to at least sort of keep us off grid with a little bit of sun for as long as, it, as long as possible really with a bit of water and not too over the top with everything. So in terms of towing this van it's um, probably probably pretty heavy, probably close to three and a half tonne by mm. the time you get on the road. How, how does it tow? The tow is really good considering uh, the size of it. I've never towed something as big as this before but I've got to handle it really quickly and easily I think. What would you say that you might change now that you've been on the road for a while? So there was a few little minor things I guess shelving in the cupboards up here so I could put other things. Definitely would have got a third water tank. Probably would have got an oven because I find we've got a lot of storage anyway under the chairs and under the bed so we could store stuff if need to. I like that use of space up the back you've got those um those storage boxes, they, yeah. they fit in there really well, don't they? Really? Yeah, yeah, they fit perfectly and it's much easier to get the clothes out. I noticed that you've got the, the fridges um, secure there now. Is that an issue? Uh, well, it was. So um, I think on an off-road van, maybe there should be a better door fixing. Um, or like, straps. Like whether the Dometic company come to the party and say, well, this goes in our off-road vans, they have double clips top and bottom. Jade, what are the things that you really like about the van? Well, obviously it looks nice as well, but it's all over pretty good quality. Like, we've had little minor teething issues, but all over, like, I, I, if, if I had the choice again, I would buy another Urban. And the only problems we've had... A minor were teething. little things that we can solve, but... Yeah. Um, the van's good, very happy with it, and would recommend it. And the company itself's been really good. And they're built in Australia. Yeah, a lot I of people have come through and had a look through and... So we probably sold about 10 on our trip, I reckon. <laughs> a lot of people that are and R and then they've looked yeah. at all three and that's um, probably put them over the line, I think. So what were the things that you were looking for in a van? Oh, enough room for the kids. Mm -hmm. Bunk, lithium batteries, off-road, um, light, like it's, I think it's 750 kilo payload. That's pretty good for a standard. Mm -hmm. um, what about yourself? I was obviously more about the look of it <laughs> which i do love the look of the urban so i was very happy with that what changes have you made to your lifestyle oh, Heaps homeschooling homeschooling definitely homeschooling has been a challenge but yeah just being together all the time tom used to work sort of 12 to 14 hour days and we didn't really see much of him when he was at work so yeah i think for us that's been the biggest change just being together and and how have the kids settle into life on the road Good, good now. It was hard at first. Probably the first, I'd say, month and a half, two months, two months was yeah. pretty hard. No, they've been great. They've been playing really well. They love playing outside, which is good. Just, just talk to me a bit about driving. You hadn't really had a lot of experience towing a caravan prior to the trip on the road. <clears throat> no, we had a camera trailer. 
came a trailer before this, which was probably two and a half ton when we were fully loaded. Mm. And with the van, it was it was very daunting when we first picked it up, considering like how big it was behind you. Mm. But it felt I, massive. Yeah, <laughs> it felt, but it, I believe it, it handles better than the camper trailer. Yeah. Like physically, you don't feel it as much. The brakes less, are better. It doesn't sway, push you. Yeah, less sway. It doesn't push you as much. So you are towing it with a 100 series. What sort of speed on the open road do you reckon you do? On the open road, we're sitting at about 95, 100, 100 pushing it, but we're happy with 95. We did find that the times we were going a bit faster, the fuel consumption was massively significantly higher. Tell me a bit about your travel. So we went from Sydney, or Blue Mountains, and we've been all the way down to the bottom of Victoria, coming across and done all of, pretty much all the coastline of South Australia, up to Uluru, Coober Pedy, Data Track. Data Track, we ran into a bit of drama with the dust suppression. Mm. That's probably our main fault that we've had. We got that resolved. We fixed, spoke to Steve and he resolved that within a week. Mm. We had it back in getting fixed and that was awesome. What, what's been your favourite place so far, Tom? I think Uluru is just outstanding. Uluru was beautiful. It was just, it was so hot, but it just had such a beautiful spiritual feel there, which I loved. Um, Closely followed by Lucky Bay, east of Esperance. That was really beautiful. White sand, turquoise water, which I loved. And what advice would you give to um, a family thinking about hitting the road in a caravan? Oh, just do, just it. do it. Yeah, there's so do many it. things that could hold you back, but amazing so far. Yeah. And yeah, you got to do it. Never get this family time back with your kids when they're little. And yeah, it's just been great so far. And buy the best van you can afford. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Really do think so. And spending time on the van, it makes life a lot easier. Yeah. What, what, what is it that you like about the van? The safety, the look of the van, it looks good. It looks modern, it looks sharp. Uh, and the internal is, it's modern. It's one of the best ones that I've seen. Everything is built really well, lots of storage. You had great options and great choices of any of the extras you want to put in. It was easy to change the look of just the leather. Some of the leather things we had, I didn't want the diamond. Being younger, I didn't want the diamond cuts in the leather. I've got kids, I couldn't think of anything worse with all the crumbs going in. So being able to change quite a few things with the team worked smooth. So the, the things that you liked about the van when you, when you looked at it? Yeah, look, um, let's start with the outside, the look of the van, um, the off-road durability, um, the chunkiness of it, the toolboxes out the front there, I thought that was a great idea, the gas bottles are all hidden and protected, you've got the stone guard, these things are built to go off-road and you can tell by just looking at them, you can see they've put the work into them, they're high up off the ground, great van to go off-road and we've taken it off-road, we've really given it a good run, a good test and it just travels really really well it holds so well on the road you know like you can move a little bit on the road and it, you can just feel it adjusting itself to correct itself and um and stay behind you um there's nothing that i can fault when you're towing these things it's just um it's a1 um so yeah we haven't had any issues with it on the road or off the road towing wise and um i just i love the suspension on it it just travels really well it's a very smooth ride Loving it and um, we're so fortunate to be able to travel with friends of ours that we've grown up our whole lives with together and um, do a trip like travelling around Australia all together. So.